Karens are known for their public freakouts, and boy, do they deliver. They can be seen going off on anyone, from store clerks to restaurant staff, and even complete strangers. From screaming at the top of their lungs to pointing their fingers aggressively, these Karens know just how to make an entrance. So the next time you encounter a Karen in public, think twice before you startle her. She might just have something up her sleeve. You're just arresting me on a charge that's made up. Back on May 2nd of 2023, a single stray bullet was found sitting on the floor of the cafeteria at Orange High School in Ohio. Not surprisingly, this caused panic and the school was put into lockdown. And during this lockdown, police began to search every single student in the school. Police knew not to take the situation lightly because that bullet belongs to someone and no one knows what their intentions are. But then, out of nowhere, a student approaches the police and asks a bizarre question. Somebody find something you know about? Because I had a bullet in my pocket, but it wouldn't, like, it's not like I'm planning anything. Oh, okay. I Wait, probably, so you, you, okay. I don't know, I'm not allowed to bring a bullet. Okay, why don't you come? He's going to come. Wait, I'm not like a school shooter. If I was a school shooter, I wouldn't tell you. You know what I mean? Well, let me, let me let me ask you this while I got you right here. Just be honest with me. You didn't bring any gun to school, did you? No. That's the only you only had one round. Yeah. Okay. Got I wouldn't like bring a gun in school. No. Okay. I know. But That's not my intention. You know I gotta ask though, right? Was there a bullet found there? Oh, it's gotta be the reason we're doing all this. When I looked it up, it said there's no statute for bringing up. Like there's no law against bringing a bullet to school. Okay. So I just turn around and face over here real quick. Put your hand on that table for me. Oh, I got more bullets. I got two. Okay, don't put your hand in your pocket. Just keep your hands on the okay. table. Just put them on the table. table. Just put them on the table for me real quick, okay? So I'm gonna have to search you. You're two right. bullets in this one? Literally, if I thought I was doing anything wrong, I wouldn't bring I, I got you. You just know on today's day and you can never be too safe, right? Yeah, yeah. Right there. Okay, that's all of them? Yeah, it's all right, all right. so I do gotta continue searching, that's all. So, so literally, half on there. This up. 22 rifles, not even assault. Yeah. It's not even yeah. assault. Right, right. 1253. Are these from a range? Did you no, I have a Henry repeating rifle. Kind of just use it as like a thing to like comfort me a little bit. At home or? Yeah. I don't like, I'm not, there's no ill, I have no ill. I know why it would raise a concern, but I'm really scared about that stuff from like school shooters too. I'm like very, uh, it like makes me anxious too that anyone can just walk into school and shoot it up. Like, do you, you worry about that? Yeah, I worry about that stuff a lot sometimes. You have a gun in your car? Yeah, of course. Well, not of course, like I don't carry it all the time, but I just literally carried it in my car. Like I don't bring it into school. Is there a gun in your car right now? Yeah. Okay, let's go out. You, you'll stay. Yeah. 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 Um, um, they're in my back. Is it's not a, an assault rifle. It's a, literally a 22 Henry repeating rifle. I get mad for a small game. I just want to know if you have one. Watch that. It's right here. Get your damn right. Yeah, just just leave it right there for now. It's basically like a, just a 22 rifle, right? Like something yep. you shoot rabbits with. Yeah, or a squirrel. Cool. Yeah. I don't know how to check if it's loaded. We'll, we'll check it. But you put it in there, I think. Yeah, I'm wondering if you gotta um, like cock that back to uh, get inside. It doesn't... This is how you um, yeah like rack chamber. It. He's 18. Yeah, he's 18. So I don't know yeah. what the I guess the higher up want to do. Yeah. They want to take him out of here and cuff. Absolutely. Yeah. You verify that he's 18. We look on the. Uh... Yeah, I can triple check. But is he a senior? He's a junior. 18 year old junior. Yeah. Those are usually the ones that bring guns. I don't, like, I don't bring the rifle because I'm like assuming I'm going to have to use it. I just bring it because, first of all, it looks cool. And second of all, it's like the comfort thing. But before I brought the gun, I like, uh, I'm pretty sure like I'm, I was allowed to bring it. Like, I don't okay. think there was anything saying I'm not allowed to bring it. Okay, I got you. But I know, I'm, I know it's like a, Are you a senior? In the modern age, this is bad. Are you a senior? Uh, yeah, no, junior. Junior, okay. How old are you? 17. Gotcha. 13. Sorry. I just see a lot of videos where having the gun prevents, like, altercations. Like online videos yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah, a different outcome and stuff. Like, 
this one guy who was like 200 mm -hmm. pounds bigger than this guy and he comes up to his car and he's like, I want to fight you. It looks like he's about to rip him out of his car and the guy just pulls out a gun and the guy turns around and walks the other way and it's like, that's all it is. He didn't even like do anything just because he saw the gun. He knows it's like, he can't think it's over. So, so that, that could be a case, but another thing, so I'm a subject control instructor, so I teach all the police officers basically how to fight like martial arts and stuff like yeah. that. You've heard of this 21 foot rule, right? If somebody has a knife within 21 feet of you, they're more dangerous than the guy with the gun because they can clear that distance quickly. Oh, wow. <laughs> but every... Um, come with me. Well, surely you can imagine um, having a gun on school property is um, a major issue. So I am suspending you for 10 days with a recommendation for expulsion. And since you are also on a 504 plan, um, somebody from the special education department will be reaching out to you because we're going to have to hold what's called a manifestation determination meeting. Um, but at this point, it is a 10-day suspension with a recommendation for expulsion for um, weapons, specifically a gun and disruption and misconduct. I have to go fill out the rest of the people. I didn't disrupt anything. The whole school was on lockdown, buddy. I'd call that about as big of a disruption as you could have. All right, sorry. Well, I, the, the problem wasn't bringing the gun. The problem was I dropped the bullet. Oh, we talked problem. to our prosecutor. It is against the law to bring a gun into what's called a safety zone or a school, right? That's subjective. What is subjective? But you consider it like a safety zone. Now's not going to be the time to contest it right now, okay? So basically what I'm telling you is we're going to end up charging you, okay? And you're 18 years old. There's no law against that. Bringing a gun on the school property, there's no law. Like, there's no statute. I'm telling you there is. It's a policy, not a law. No, there's a, a state law in Ohio. I'm telling also you there is another. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Here's what we're going to do. Okay, we're not going to debate what is or isn't. We know what we have. We have violation of the law, right? I don't think there is a violation of the law. Okay, and you can think that, and we do arrest people that think they are in violation of the law. Okay, and you can think that, and we do arrest people that think they are in violation of the law. So that does happen. And you have the right to, to believe that. You can believe whatever you want to believe. This is a newer generational problem. This is not like a problem that they had like back in the day. This might be like your first time dealing with a situation like this in your whole career. So I don't think you can just arrest me like that. Well, we are arresting you. Put your hands behind your back. I can wait your hands behind your back. I'm telling you, I respect you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're okay. Go ahead. In the end, Mel Karen was charged with improperly handling of a firearm possessing a deadly weapon in a school zone, as well as inducing panic. But because rules and laws do not exist in Mel Karenville, Mel Karen pled not guilty to all three charges. And as of the date of this upload, the case is still pending. But things are way different for this next Karen, who thought she could fatally stab her boyfriend and then blame him for it. All of a sudden, this is all happening. What's his name? I just, Christian, Christian Tobetra Kurobam. Uh, oh, Christian? Please, I'm scared of him. Back on April 3rd, 2022, in Miami, Florida, 911 dispatch received a frantic phone call. I can't feel my arm. I can't feel my arm. Oh, my boyfriend is going to stab me. Ma'am, what is the address? 3131 North, Northeast, seven times. Baby, I'm so sorry. During that 911 call that you just heard, 27-year-old Christian Toby Abumseli was bleeding out in his girlfriend's lap, and this was as a result of a serious chest wound. When the police showed up, they witnessed pools of blood all over the apartment and Christian fighting for his life. Christian met OnlyFans model Karen back in 2020, and from the outside looking in, they appeared to be a happy couple. But on the inside, their relationship was totally different. This couple had a history of domestic incidents and on numerous occasions, the police had to be called. But their most detrimental argument took place on April 3rd of 2022. This would be their final argument as Christian succumbed to his injuries. Karen claimed she had nothing to do with it, but the police didn't believe her, so they brought her in for a five-hour interrogation. My apologies for being absolutely covered in blood. Listen, you don't have to apologize, okay? I completely understand. Mm -hmm. All right? Things happen, and you can't control it. Okay? How long have you guys been together? Um, about two years. About two years. A year and a half to two years, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Is he okay? He's, he's still at the hospital. They're still, I, I you know, know. monitoring him and talking to him. 
So we're waiting. Oh my God! So he's not. He didn't even have to have surgery. Well, I don't know. They're they're okay. they're still they're still uh, doing um, X-rays and stuff like that. So I don't know yet. I'm waiting to hear a response. That's all I have to know. Thank okay. God. Just got back together. I had broken up with him, and then he came back the last like two nights, and then start like the to an argument and I ended up getting scared and I think that I overreacted or not overreacted necessarily but reacted and I just didn't know exactly what might happen. Do you guys work here in Miami or do you guys have your own business? I do social media so I'm an influencer I guess is what oh, yeah. calls yes I'm an influencer. What do you focus on like Instagram or um social media Instagram and what is it that he does stocks and crypto stocks and crypto he just has stocks and stuff crypto we were gonna move into a house mm -hmm. so have an apartment and then we we're like maybe just move here for a year and then once we got here we were like mm, no this is dope yeah so he, we're, we have the dog picked out Golden Retriever, we're going to name Mellow. <laughs> we're going to get out. So we're going to have a backyard. Because I have two dogs and then we're going to have three. So we're planning on staying here for a while. Sorry. Once again, you don't have to open this start from the start. Uh, you guys are supposed to take out your dogs to the park, right? And then what happens after that? Um, like I said, a little bit of blur. Um, I was doing laundry mm -hmm. and tried to call my mom. She didn't answer the first time. And then he left, I guess he went to go bike over there. He, that's just what he said. I don't know if he walked or bikes, but he told me he was going to bike first. Like a bicycle? Yeah. Okay. And then he came back with a subway sandwich. Um, and I said something about like, oh, are you going to like reshare your location with me? Like, did you want to share it? And um said, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. And I was like, oh, when did you do that? And it was the other day, like, when you were done with me. And I was like, okay, well, fair enough. And, like, reshare it. Um, and then he told me. I mean, it kind of, like, turned into, like, a little, like, argument or something. And then he told me to reshare mine. And I was like, okay, yeah, I will. And then I didn't do it immediately. Uh, he asked me about it again. Um, and I don't know what I was thinking, but it just said something about, well, what if I'm somewhere you don't want me to be? Which I'm, I wouldn't have been. I love him, um, but maybe you don't want to know where I am. I guess maybe it'll just like hurt him because he was pressing me, um, and he ended up pinning me against the wall. I mean, I said, like, choking on me on the floor. It's just like, you know, look at my neck, and I was like, I mean, I'm not saying, like, choking me, like, you know, whatever. But, I mean, he had my, like, neck. Like, I, I, and this happened twice before, okay. where I couldn't breathe, and I was on the floor. Yeah. I could not breathe. And I don't think that he was trying to kill me, mm -hmm. but I was scared. And all three times I have been scared. I'm on the floor. And he had me pinned. Get my mom on the phone. So this happened like over by the door and somehow was like over in the living room. He was standing by by the couch, facing for the kitchen, and I was in the kitchen. And then he just like, I could see like all the whites in his eyes and he was like, like coming at me. And so I grabbed, I grabbed one of these knives. My mom got me for Christmas. I grabbed one of them. And I was like, I swear, I swear to God. I swear to God. It was just like, I, I mean, I, Grab and be like, don't come anywhere closer to me. Because, I, I mean, earlier, I was having two other times I couldn't breathe. I'm sorry. I couldn't breathe. And it's very scary. And I just think, like, just like this kind of thing where I was saying, like, do you know if he's okay? If he, like, if, he, if he's choking me and he's angry enough, he might, like, or, I mean, this is different, I think. But if he's, like, choking me or, like, pinning me or something and I can't breathe, he might go too long. So I grab my sorry, I grab my I grab my knife and I said, Don't come anywhere closer to me. I had absolutely no intention of using it. I'm on the phone with my mom and he's coming at me like he's gonna grab either the phone or like the knife or something and so I was just like I I was like, Don't don't come any closer coming at me and I threw it.
and I meant for it to go. How far away was he? From, well, I was by my fridge, and he was like by the edge of one of the chairs of the sofa. Um, like comparing to what he feet? I'm, I'm trying to think in my head. Um, you were by the fridge, and he was by the couch. Yes, I was between. I was and in front of the fridge, he was by the couch. And then behind, behind my island. And then what kind of movements did he make? That he uh, at the at the moment he was gonna walk running up, at me. running. Okay. Well. Charging, aggressively walking, something. What was he doing? Like, was he doing something with his hands, or? I mean, he had his hands up. I really could. I couldn't tell you exactly. Was he yelling at you at the time? Yes. Was that at the moment that he was charging you, or earlier in one of the arguments? It was before he choked me. When I, yes, it was before he choked me. Okay. And or, or, whatever. But I swear to God, I was scared. I mean, after like what I had just, I was yeah. scared. And I was on the phone with my mom and it was still happening. Yeah. I was scared. So you told me, you told me that, that he had you against the wall at one point, right? With the hands over your neck? Mm -hmm. And what, how did you end up from the wall to the ground? Let me go, let me go. And then I started swinging on him because I had been against the wall. Okay. I started trying to hit him. Yeah. And then... And put me on the ground. He dropped it to them. When I'm trying to remember like a whole situation of where I was very upset about something, yeah. which I've learned this in therapy and whatever, it's like write down like all the details so you don't forget. Just like write it all out clearly mm -hmm. so that it makes sense to you and makes sense to somebody else. But I haven't had a chance to have a pen and paper or my phone yeah. to like write down exactly what happened. And yeah, I haven't really even like fully thought about it. Yeah. So honestly, my, my answer is I couldn't even, I don't remember. That's fine. Okay. You just have a history of Yeah. You yeah. say you've been together how long, sorry? Almost two years. Almost two years. And a half two years. So how many, how many incidents do you think you've had? I, I don't, I don't know. But we shouldn't be together. Have um, you made a report before? Uh, no. You've never made a report? Oh, I did in um, I did in Dallas actually about yeah. a year ago, um, and he was detained. And what happened there? Um, he had pushed me in the um, lobby, but it wasn't like a big deal, and they made it a huge deal. But what these Miami detectives do not know is that this couple had another domestic incident less than nine months ago in Las Vegas. Back on July 27th of 2021, when this couple was in Las Vegas, Karen actually called the police on herself because she was unsure of what she might do. When police arrived, the couple's room was completely trashed and Karen could not get her story straight. Why do you call for help? Because we were getting really loud. We were getting loud. I was like, oh my God, we're gonna like do damage to the room or something. Not damage to each other. Like I really wanna like uh, why 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 would you like that? Why would you think that you were gonna do damage to the room? I like throwing something or like Did you throw something? Did I? Yeah. No. Did anybody throw anything? No. So why would you think that there is damage to the room to be made? Because I've done that before in our house. And I What have you done? Thrown a glass and a plate. Did you throw a glass or a plate at him today? No. Okay. So no, if I not before. Okay. So when I go to the room and I see a broken glass on the floor, where did the glass come from? I don't. I don't know. I literally couldn't even remember how the fight started. Okay. Well. Was there? Yeah. Maybe I did. Well, I'm guessing that I threw a glass, but that sounds like me. After this, Karen was arrested and spent 12 hours in jail. But not only did Christian refuse to press charges, he actually fought for Karen's release. But why this incident is so relevant is that it proves that Karen has a history of attacking Christian. And this is going to become a critical piece of evidence down the line. But it's not the only piece of evidence. There's more. Um, but it's not the, the only piece of evidence. Here. There's more. Um, one other time yesterday mm -hmm. for Absolutely no reason. You didn't call. I didn't. Nobody. I called. You called. Let him talk. Okay. Let him talk. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, the front desk personnel, she informed us that uh, Miss Portman, uh, her boyfriend, was trying to get into the elevator. 
and she got her hand out like this, and she was like, oh no, don't come inside that way, okay? So we asked her, I said, do you want him to leave the property? She said no, she don't want him to leave I did not, I said okay. yes. Hold on. Morning, what's going on? What do you need? What? Yeah, good at this. All right, so what do you what do you what do you want to say? I want a restraining order against Christian and Rumzelli. We don't issue those. Because, those no, I'm serious. To court. Can I do that? Where you have can to go I go to court? You have to okay, go to downtown. How can I make petition? myself first? Absolutely not. They harassed um, not the, not the police, but um, security guards from the from office, like young security guards. Okay. Came up for no reason. Um, bothered him. Bothered me. So you're living in a nightmare right now. Yes. You know? So I feel so much better once they just say he's stable. Yeah. And, and, and I've, I've been asking, I've been asking that, so and much. That's what we're waiting for. And, uh, I mean, I feel like at the end, I mean, if, he, if he's not, that's a lot worse for me. So they've asked for an update, and I asked them for an update as well, so they're checking. Uh, she was going because they're. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I will do with myself. If he's, well, if he's not okay. No matter I what. Mean, I mean, I clearly we can't be together. No matter what happens. But no matter where this falls, right? It's it's out of our control. <clears throat> um. So we have to inform you that Christian did not make it. Okay. Um. Unfortunately, the doctors did what they could. And Christian is dead. Yes. Oh my God. This is not real, right? Okay. No, this is not real. Christian died. Okay. Can I please have a hug? Am I allowed to do that in here? No, no, no. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. Okay. Calm down. Yeah. I, I, need, I, need to, I need to hug my mom. I cannot be left alone in like a room by myself you won't be after there. this. I just, no, that's not true. That's not, that did not, that's not real, right? It is real. Christian, did, Christian is dead. Yes. You're not going to lie. The last thing he ate was... What I was saying to that other room, I said, God forbid, God forbid, when, like, from far away, if, 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 what if, what if I, what if it had actually hit a little bit lower and he died? So we can't, we can't change what, what's occurred and get him before. So just step by step. So you'll get through this, all right? The problem for Karen is that the detectives don't yet have the evidence from April 2nd of 2022 or July 27th of 2021, but they will. All that they have is the evidence that Karen provided them with. But the truth comes out eventually, and as time moved on, more evidence started to mount and a clearer picture of what actually happened in the relationship and on that fatal night of April 3rd, 2022, began to come into focus. There were also detrimental videos like this one showing Karen having a good time drunk in public just days after she was released. Yeah, and they're seeking justice. Yeah, what? Let's all her. Right now, she, yeah, you should go. Yeah, you should go. Justice. So you just go for my friend. Yeah, you did. Yeah, and you, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. And a few days after this incident, it was discovered that Christian had taken some secret video of Courtney yelling at him, hitting him, and calling him racial slurs. Yes, racial slurs. Because of evidence like this and what we've seen before, 
and most importantly, Christian's family, Karen was eventually arrested. With the help of a GoFundMe campaign, Christian's family was able to hire a medical examiner who was able to come to a conclusion based on the examination of Christian's body. Now, based on the information you received that the defendant was alleged to have thrown this knife, you know, do your observations support that? If the person who supposedly did this is an expert knife thrower and the knife is the type of knife that you can throw, I guess that could have happened. Did you receive any information that the defendant was a knife thrower? No. So based on that fact that you did not receive that information, would it support that? No. And would you expect, what would you expect to see a knife do if someone just flung it at somebody? It would just hit the body and bounce off. Now, as a result of this case, did you come to a uh, cause, or did you make a determination as to the cause and manner of death? Yes. Could you please explain those to the court? The cause of death was stab wound of right subclavian artery. The manner of death was homicide. As a result of the events of April 3rd of 2022 and the previous evidence that was provided, Karen has been charged with second degree homicide and is awaiting her court date. She faces life in prison. Back on June 15th of 2022, police were called because of an accident involving a police car. Unfortunately, this officer had the misfortune of parking behind a Karen and she backed into his vehicle. This is how it played out. I pulled up behind her and stopped and then she just put it in reverse and reverse right back into it. So she sold her pants and she's got an open bottle. Did you get in a car accident? No. No? Okay, do you have, your, do you have your license and your insurance? Yeah, I have my license, I don't have my insurance, I just came back from Chinese food. From Chinese food? Yeah. Did you drink anything today? In the morning. In the morning? What'd you drink? I had, um, uh, half and half. Half and half? Like half, half lemonade, half, half vodka? Uh, tea and half. Vodka? Yeah. Okay. How long ago was that? 5.55. I came home. 5.55 in the morning? Yeah, I came home from here. Okay, you didn't drink at all today? No, I haven't, but I haven't drank. We can talk out here. Come on, stand over here. Where do you live? Right here. You live right here? Yeah. Can I see your ID? Who is that? Uh, oh, I know who that is. Let probably. Me see your ID. <laughs> yeah, so I'm with his boyfriend. Like, okay. I'm with his boyfriend. All right. So I you know what kind of person he is, and I know, like. What kind of person is he? He's an alcoholic. Okay. How much did you drink tonight? Tonight? No. Today. How much did you drink during the day? I only drink in the morning. What happened with this accident? This wasn't an accident. This is something I bought. Like, I had from home. Okay. Yeah, I, I swear to God. Like, I'm, I'm a transplant patient. Mm -hmm. So, like, I can't have any of, like... Any of what? Like, hardcore liquor or anything I got like you. that. What, what happened? What did they have in the accident? They were in traffic? Yeah, she just put it in reverse. I guess. I don't know if she was right here. Yeah, she's what? probably trying to. So, Where I do you live? You? Oh, yeah, you didn't hit me. You didn't hit me. I'm nice yeah, officer. Yeah, you got into an accident. What are you doing? Oh, are you getting your insurance? I'm swerving. Okay, I, yeah, I do you have your insurance. I understand what I did. I understand what I did because I came from that way. And then I just like wanted to go like this way onto the curb. Okay. You cut the gate is was closed. Do you normally talk like with a uh, slur? Mm -hmm. Do you normally slur your speech while you talk? Yeah, okay. Okay. Diabetes causes you to slur your speech? It does when my sugar is very high. Okay. Alright, I gotta make sure you're good to drive, okay? I'm right here, yes. Yeah, Alright, I gotta put you through a couple exercises, okay? okay. Come over here. Yeah. How much did you drink? I literally drank in the morning. Yeah. And then I had a little bit before I left. Okay. So not too much to get like up and drunk. Okay. But enough to Go come ahead. here. I gotcha. Did you take any medication today? I took Xanax at 5.55 a.m. Okay. 
Uh, I don't think you're supposed, to, you're supposed to mix that with alcohol, though. No, but it's been like more than four to six hours. Okay. And I'm allowed to. You, so you're prescribed Xanax for what reason? Uh, I had a total pancreatectomy with islet auto 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 islet transplantation. Okay. So like a donor or something. Yeah. Like whenever they get disease, they give me their pancreas islet and they put it into my liver, so I won't be diabetic anymore. Do you have the prescription bottle with you? Is it in the car? We don't, we don't need to get it now. We'll oh, get it. We'll, yeah, definitely. I just want to make sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, I didn't really drink. I only had like a couple sips of wine. A couple sips of wine? Yeah. Okay. How, when did you stop drinking? Right when I got a Rose out Thorndale 290. Like right when I was allowed to So where to were you drinking at? Rocker. Where were you drinking at? By my house. Okay. By your house in Roselle. And now you're coming yeah. here to go see him? No, not him. No. My boyfriend. Your boyfriend. He lives there also? Uh, he works with my brother and my dad, so yeah. And he lives here? I yeah. want to make sure you're good to drive. Or we got to do, right so we gotta do exercise. Okay, okay. Do? all right, ahead. put your feet together. Put your arms down at your side. Okay, I want you to follow the tip of my finger with your eyes. Don't move your head. It's windy. I know, it's a little windy. Just try to stay still as possible. Yeah, I know, I know. Feet together, arms down at your side, okay? Look at my finger. Don't move your head, only your eyes. I know. Okay, I know. here we go. Who's the guy in the white shirt? Oh, uh, my boyfriend. Okay. Just just watch them. So I, we arrested this guy for DUI a bunch of times. Yeah, did. Actually, here, come over here. Come over here. Let's just walk right in the middle, so because there's grass and stuff over there, okay? Yeah. So we're going to pretend like it's an imaginary line. Hang on. Don't do anything yet. Okay, put your left foot on the imaginary line. Put your right foot ahead of your left foot. Okay, heel to toe. Heel to toe. No, 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 no. Don't start walking yet. We're just getting into the position. Oh, heel to toe. Yes. Okay. Left foot on the imaginary line. Yeah. You know what? Okay. Let's, let's. I hate doing this in front of my grandma. Okay, we're going to turn around and face this way. Can we do that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, right here. Stop. So we're going to walk in the middle, in the center of this, okay? Yeah. So put your left foot on the imaginary line. Imaginary. Put your Okay, put your right foot ahead of your left foot. Okay. Okay, don't move. Keep your arms down to your sides. One. Put your arms down to your side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah? You said you no. had a problem with your foot, a medical problem or whatever, uh, an injury? It's called, um, like when you, you're diabetic, yeah. you get a uh, get repentant for it, so okay. like your nerves don't uh, like crisscross. So what they do is, I don't know if you know about medication, but like what it does, it just makes your discs okay. and your spine yeah. straight. It's windy, sorry. Just try your best. I know, I know, I know, I know. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, you can stop. Chris, it's windy. I'm little. All right, one more thing. I'm sorry. Anything you want One more thing. To do. One more thing. Okay. Um, okay, when I tell you to, you're going to close your eyes and tilt your head back a little. You're going to you're going to count to yourself in your head 30 mm -hmm. seconds. When you think okay. 30 seconds has passed, let me know. Stop and stop. Okay. Okay, that's it. Just count to 30 in your head and Close tell me when. Close my eyes. Close your eyes, tilt your head back. Okay. One, Just two. count to yourself. Okay, 30. Okay, done. What okay. you're going to do is you're just going to take a deep breath, wrap your lips around the straw, and just blow out three seconds, three or four seconds, okay? That's it. Uh, so suck in, blow No, don't suck in it out. Just before blow. you wrap your lips around the straw, suck in to take a deep breath so you okay. have enough breath to blow. Okay? okay? Blow. Keep going, okay. It's gotta be a constant blow. Okay, stop. A big blow, like this. 
Three okay. seconds, that's okay. it. One, okay, ready? Two. Yeah. Blow. Keep going, more, 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 more. Okay. That wasn't enough. Can you practice? Just go like this. Blow. Okay, that's good, just for three seconds. Okay. Just do what you just did there. Okay. Like you're blowing out candles to someone's birthday. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Can you do that? Yeah. Okay, take a deep breath. Okay. No. No? Keep, no. Oh. Like you're blowing out candles. Okay, keep Okay, going. ready? Yeah. Take a deep breath. Blow. Blow, blow more, more. Okay, stop. Why can't you blow? What's wrong? I don't know. Just take a deep breath and blow. Let me see. Can you blow more than that? I don't have like organs and I don't have like anything. Take so a deep breath. Hard. Okay. Okay, Three go. seconds. Go, like go, you blow go, some go, candles go, out. Go, go. Okay? Take a deep breath. Blow. More, 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 more. All right, good job. <sighs> no, you can leave that there. Oops. Grab your glasses. No, you, you can put it on the ground. Or you can keep that if you want. All right, turn around. Am I getting arrested? Yeah. For why? Why? I don't even stop, 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 stop. Okay. Okay, what do I do with my car? It's gonna get towed. Can he repark it? No. No, no, no. You'll be able to get it out. You'll get the paperwork. It'll show you how to do it. Am I gonna get out today? More than likely. I mean, okay, I understand. I'm not gonna argue. I'm just gonna turn my car off. Yeah, okay? we'll take care of your car. All right, come with me yeah. to my car. It's on my phone. Everything is on my phone. I'm going to grab it for you, okay? I remember I put your phone into your, uh, into your, uh, car. Okay, go ahead. Oh. 171, one in custody. Wait, can I, like, flip this in the car? Or no, I just... Oh, my God, that hurts. Lean, lean back. We'll take them off when we get to the police station, okay? Got it? Alright. I'm gonna take those off when we get upstairs, okay? I wanna do, like one I said. One of them is old and one of them is new from today. Which okay. one was the from today? The lower one is from older. So this is what? how much you drank today? Yeah, pretty much. All right. It's like five, yeah. All right. Don't, don't worry about it. Right now, just focus on right but now. It's my daughter who doesn't have a dad. Just so focus right now, okay? On what we're doing right now. I have the worst anxiety ever. Okay. This has nothing to do with your daughter. Nothing's gonna happen with your daughter. No. Who has your daughter right now? My mom. Okay. Or yeah. her, her other grandma. Okay. Yeah. You're fine. Everything's fine. Okay, so just re relax. No rush. No rush. Okay. So when you're ready, take a deep breath. Just yeah, just relax. No rush, no rush. So like I said, it's really sensitive. So take a deep breath and then you wrap your lips around the top of the straw and then just blow. And while you're blowing, don't forget to look at this so you see how much you have to blow, okay? Just don't let the bar go back down to nothing. So take a deep breath and then just push and don't inhale, do not inhale. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Go, 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 more, 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 more. Keep going, go, 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 Okay. Yeah. So just a little bit above so, the, so just a little like, bit above I, the limit. I know I had a little bit. Yeah. But like, so that's probably how so much. I didn't know how much I had a little bit. I knew. Yeah. Um. Like three or something. Dollar machine. Yeah. So, yeah. Because it won't tell you the number, right? That's your I bond. So instead of paying cash, you're just uh, getting released on your signature, and then sign what here. What does that mean? It means you don't have to pay any money to get released. There's no bond for you. Because, because you're like, I wasn't locked up, right? Like, no, just because that's why we do it in Cook County. So you're getting released on the signature. Like I said, instead of paying hundred dollars or whatever to get released, yeah. you're just paying your signature, I guess, if you want to say it like that. Ultimately, she was rightfully charged with DUI 
and hopefully the first thing she did when she got home was to change those pants. Back on May 5th of 2023, a police officer pulled over a woman in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. When the officer pulled Karen over, he said that she had warrants, but he called her Natasha. Her name is clearly Karen, so maybe he has the wrong person. Either way, when he asked her to step out of the vehicle, she acted like a Karen, so she probably is Natasha Karen. Let's see how Natasha Karen tries to weasel her way out of this one. Hey, Natasha. How are you? What's up? Good. I got my license. Oh, you do? Yeah. You got Warren, I think. No, I don't. Yeah. For what? I don't know what it's for. I do not. I just got out of jail. You got bullet charges, too. What? You got charges. Oh, because this car. It was reported stolen, but I have the key. Oh. She gave me the key. Oh, okay. Well, so step it's out not for stolen, a sec. then. Well, right? Step out for a sec. Look, if she gave me the key, it's not stolen. <sighs> Where are you coming from? Um, I just saw a friend, um, Patricia Zaber. Okay. Why do you ask where I was coming from? What are you doing with your hand there? I'm just putting my hand in my pocket. I'm sorry. You're stepping um, somewhere there? No, there's not. Quit, quit I'm moving. getting my water. Oh, sorry, my water. Can you put my water? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Quit stuffing stuff. Okay, I don't stuff in nothing. Okay. Uh, can you get my water, I asked I'm good. Put, okay. Leave I'm your hands my, on here. I got a receipt in here. Leave your hands on the... On I got a receipt. Here. That's all. I just put my hand in my pocket. Just, I didn't know it was a big deal. I like putting my hand in my pocket. Okay. Sorry. You're good. What do I have a warrant for, though? I don't know. I'm checking. Oh, sorry. You're good. <sighs> can I get my phone so I can tell something I have a warrant? Yeah, we'll let you do it. Okay. I gotta put it on the charger for a minute. We'll let you do it. Okay. I can have water. thing here. Oh, she gave me the key, though. Why do I have a warrant? It's a jar of peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, bowl of charges, too. For what? Is, for what? Credit card. What? Credit card fraud. No, I don't. You do. I haven't used anybody's credit card in forever. It's on my hip. You said I had my water. I'll get it. Okay. Hang on. Credit card fraud. What do you mean? Well, how long were you at Patricia's? What do you mean credit card fraud? How long were you at Patricia's? Um, I don't know. I'd have to look at my phone to see when I got there. What do you mean credit card fraud? What were you though? doing over there? Um, she's a friend of mine. I went. I was in direct mail with her or airport. Why do I have a bolo? I don't know. Why are you shaking? Because I'm nervous now that I'm. You're behind me? Okay. I have a pipe on me. It's brand yeah, new, though. It's so it's not here from you. It's in my waistband. You can get out of it. Is that where you're in? No, it's, it's in my waistband. Brand new. You want to grab it then, yeah. Tasha? Right. Just put it on top. Yep, right, right here. there. Yeah. That's all I have on me. Okay. Yep. What is Bolo, though? Can I grab my water now? It's right there. It's a picture bottle. Good. No, we'll just hang oh, out. We're not going to grab waters now. Oh. <gasps> See? You got a bolo charger. Bolo! Oh. Could I please have my water? My yeah, well, let's just turn around for a second. Okay. We'll be oh, the gas lady does this. Fuck, hold up. It's my tit. Do you have anything else from no. your shirt? No, I don't. Oh, I have money. Oh. Right, well, you You're going to take my. Money too, aren't you? I'm not gonna take oh. your money. Here. Who aren't you? I'm not gonna take oh. your money. Here, just put your hands behind your back. Here, put that one behind your back. Oh, sorry. Is there anything else in the car? Um, I don't know. That's what I know of, but of course, I'm gonna take time before it. Hey, Natasha, you wanna just you can drop that cigarette. Oh. You're good. There you go. Now that my hands are cuffed, can you give me some fucking water? Please? Yeah, we'll, we'll work on it. Here. Okay. King, Robert, Adam, okay. Mary, Edward, Robert. Let me just uh, double lock these, okay? Middle initial is A, Adam, date of birth, 07, Don't let him take my money this time, man. Yeah. Who took your money? You guys do everything. I'm not taking your money. Oh. Tasha, you want to hang out by the back of my squad here, over here in the front? Oh. I'll search it real quick, Joe. Don't hear ya. Huh? I'll search the car yeah. real quick. And Tasha, is there anything in your, in your bra that they're going to find? No, I don't. Because they'll find it at the jail. I don't think there is. I mean, you uh, don't think there is? No, I don't. You can definitely look. There's. I am. I am not going to look, but the jail will look when they when they talk to you. I already took what was out of my pants. It was a receipt and the money. Um, or no, the money was in my bra. Okay. Is there um, anything else on you? No. Here, I'll search it. You don't need to search it. Oh. Oh. 
Aha. Does there's anything else on you? Nice. In your bra or anything like that, they Can will I find... it out just to check? I don't think there is. Do you think... <clears throat> I, Excuse I me. I do for... Do you like, think there's something B out? Just be straight I up. I don't think there is. Because when you go to the jail, they're if gonna they find, find it, it on the video and then, well, then it's going to be more charges right. for it. No, I... Look, I mean... Do you have really something honest, in there? I don't think so. You don't think uh, so? Maybe an empty baggie. Okay. That's why I'm asking, can I shake it out? We'll let you shake it out. Did you just stuff it in there now? Is that why you're a little... No. I haven't fucking had to... I'm just going to do, use your left hand to do it. Okay? Yeah. Take it out. Don't shake I it don't out. Take it out. I don't think there's anything in there. No. Nothing in there? Okay. No. Um, here, put the same on your back here. No, is there anything in the car at all? Um, Be honest. There's a fucking broken pipe, I think, I saw in there. Okay. Um, and that's in the center console. That isn't mine, um, but I know I'm going to be charged with it because I'm in possession of the car. Okay. Um, Any baggies? Uh, there should be. Okay. Um, there's credit cards in there and all that. Do they belong to you, the credit? No. Okay. So hang out. So, this morning, um, I went to my old roommate's. And he gave me a black bag full of um, somebody else's stuff. Okay. That's where those cards came from. That's where um, I went to my roommates this morning. My old roommates on First Street, and he gave me a black bag that had all that stuff in it. It's not in the black bag. I know it's not. Take the credit cards in on yours. I didn't even know it was in the black bag until I started looking for it. Yeah. I don't believe that. Honestly, I didn't. Kind of I really haven't cool. stolen any of those money. Um, Got you on camera. What? Okay, what do you mean? What's the bolo for? Credit card theft. Credit card theft. Yeah, I understand that. But... You're on camera everywhere, all around town, using people's credit cards, Natasha. People work hard for their money, and you're taking it. I don't usually use credit cards. You are somewhere. Whose credit card? I use Ernie's. And you know why I use Ernie's? Why is that? Because he'd be taking everything that he owns. Mm. Mm. Um, Ernie's Ernie is not Sure. Um, um, most cars if I use Paws, but she gave me permission to use her car. Paws? Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, Hua Lar, I think. Yeah, we know Paws. Yep. Um, that was her PayPal cards, and I haven't even used those in a while because when I got the um, arrested in that Lincoln, um, um, her PayPal cards were in there. I honestly don't even know who some of those are. Like, that's the part that's concerning. You don't know whose cards. You I got, told you right? you gave me a black bag this morning. Right. And um, you went through it. I did, and I didn't even recognize most of the names. Here goes your phone. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Jason, can you please do me a favor? I'm going to jail again. A bolo for credit card theft. I didn't even know I had a warrant out. He says he's got me all over town using somebody else's credit card. The only credit card I think I've used is Ernie's and Pa's. And Pa gave me permission. I don't know. Like, he's ca- uh, that he's catching me, like, stuff that I haven't even used. All right, thank you. Bye. Uh, Did you find the pipe? Where is it at? The center console. Um, okay. I think he's looking for it now, still. Um, I saw it in there. I pulled it back up on it. It was supposed to be thrown away, and that didn't happen. Mm. Uh, Coming up behind you, Tom. It's just me. What's that? I was letting you know it was me coming up behind you. What was that? I was telling them who.
Hi. Right. That is not mine. I, <laughs> no, I shook my paw out and shook my pants out for you guys. Hey, Connor. I did. No, because my pipe's brand new and that was not mine. Because my pipe's brand new and that was not mine. You guys look, shook my bra out and I popped both my Natasha, pants Natasha, come That's on. That's not mine. What is it? I don't know. I didn't even see it there. Natasha. That's a good amount you got from Patty. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Natasha. It's not mine. So. You guys just saw me shake my stuff out. All I thought I had on me was an empty bag. see this camera right here? Yeah. Natasha? And it's going to, what, catch me doing nothing, because yeah. that's not mine. Natasha, stop. I, I shook my bra out in front of both of you. You've been sitting over here this whole time. Yeah, just like this with my hand on my hips. Yeah, it's probably in your pants. No. We're not going to go, oh God, we're not, not we're not going to search you You like patted that. me down, you would have yeah, felt it. No, we're not going to go up in there to search you. You would have felt okay? it. Okay. You the patted camp. me down. Okay. No. Well, well. It's not. I gave you the opportunity to. And, and, and I wasn't mine. I told you I didn't have anything on me. Besides, why would I. Natasha, can I ask you this? Don't you think it's odd that it's standing right there, right behind you where you're standing at? And it was under the car. It was literally <laughs> right down where you're standing. At. And you didn't see it. Like, I. Wow. You were standing here talking to me. You didn't notice it. Right. And as soon as I walked over there and as soon as I came back, that's when I saw it on the ground. And I didn't even notice it. I was standing here. I was standing there too. I didn't see it. Huh? You just got it from Patty's. No, I didn't. We know the drill. Know I don't get my goat from Patty. I get my goat from somebody else. <sighs> this isn't our first rodeo, Natasha. Right, I understand that, but I just told you. Wow. You saw me take my bra out. I couldn't reach my bra when you were over her. here, standing over here. You kept, you I put the pipe pants. in my pants because I wasn't thinking I was going to jail. Okay. And the pipe isn't even a crime because it's brand new, right? Well, the pipe becomes a crime when you have dope. But on I didn't you. have dope on me. Right. That was my next stop, to be honest with you. Okay. So, help me understand this. So you want me to believe that this decent amount here? was just on the floor? It wasn't mine. I'm not saying... I it. I'm just saying, so you want me to believe that this just fell right there where you were standing while officers were here. Right. Is that what you're saying? Right. All right. So the camera's going to see me put, put it there, right? The, huh? Like I say, there's a camera okay. there and this camera here. Like okay. I say, it's not been here this whole time. And then as soon as I walk... I wasn't looking down the ground, so I can't... Well, as oh. soon as I walk away and come back, then it's on the floor, so. Yeah. Do you have anything else on your Natasha? I don't have anything besides that pipe to begin with. So, no, I don't have okay. anything. Alright. So you got nothing else on you? No, I didn't. I don't, that dope is not mine, honestly. Okay, you want to sit back in the car? Yeah, I can have another thing about a lot of pipes for you. You can take a seat back here, Natasha. Can you leave the door open? I'm not going to take off and I'm going to roll the window down for you. Is that better? Can you tell me now um, what this bolo I obviously... Yeah, I'll look it up when we get in okay. here. Yep, I'll look it up. Just give me a second. got to pack up some stuff. Okay. Um, can you grab my phone? Where is it? Um, um, is it in the front or is it in the... It's a black blue phone. Is it in the uh, glove box? No, that one is Raymond's, I think, okay. or something. It was just up by the front. Um, okay, I'll take a look and see if I can find it. Might be in my purse. Okay, uh, I'll take a look. I'll take a look. Just give me one second. Yeah, she was fishing around. Yeah, I mean, she was sitting here the whole time. Yeah, I'll just look at the camera. That's a good amount. Yeah. She just got it from Patty. So. Yeah, look at all these credit cards that aren't hers. I mean, that's checkbooks and. Checkbooks, too? Yeah, checkbooks. And this is her. This is her handwriting. Yeah. IDs, credit cards, sign. No, it's just this one there. But, uh, yeah, Patty uh, buys stolen stuff. She's got like a ledger, right? She had a ledger. I've read it somewhere. It's like stolen items, like most likely stolen items that somebody requests or whatever. And she's got a bunch of, in this bucket, a bunch of items with tags on it, still and everything. So they, she takes over there, gets money or dope, and then they sell it, and just big 
cycle. Oh. I don't know, like, that dope wasn't mine. I don't carry dope anymore. Dude, I don't. The last three times I've been arrested, I haven't even been charged with possession. Because I don't carry it on me anymore. Because I'm tired of the possession charge. You know what they tried to get me on the last time? Attempt to possess. Attempt to possess methamphetamine. Why were you trying to go buy it? I don't even know why they tried charging me with that. So whose who's credit cards did I steal? Just out of curiosity. I gotta look at the case here. Okay. I'll look at it in a second. I'm just packing the stuff up when we can get out of here. So when you see me don't have or dispose of that mess. I'm gonna see it. You're not. I didn't have it. So it, you're not gonna see me dispose of something I didn't have. You just saw me shake my tits out. Um, you saw me fuck, or you patted me down. Did you use any of the cards today? Um. Because you know if you did, it's going to be on camera. Let so. me think about it. Um, are you questioning about a check from an RCU account from a guy's account by chance? Because I was with a girl who tried to deposit one in her account today. Ah, oh, that's my mouth. So bad. Um, okay. and I guess she's been doing it quite a bit. Okay. So they wanted to place a hold on the check is what they said. Right, so I can talk to you. Did Patty sell you that dope? No. I did not have any dope on me. Okay, well here's the difference. Did Patty sell a lot of dope? I do not know that. I don't get dope from Patty ever. I get my dope from the same person. And he used to get his dope from me. And I got tired. You know, like, so I quit and I just, like, let him have, I let him deal with it, you know? Like, when Ernie went to jail, I tried to quit doing everything I was doing, except for using. What are you charging me with for today? Possession of meth, drug paraphernalia, and you got a bail jumping. I'm not on bail. Oh, I am on bail. You got on bail from Dunn County. You're not going to watch the video to see if it, that was meth. Oh, before you charge me? So, if I just got messed, wouldn't I be awake and... I've left with an open pipe, or a clean pipe, right? Brand new pipe. I haven't even gotten high yet because... You said you went over there again. Yeah, I did, but I didn't get high. I know, but I'm just saying, like, I would have... I know what you mean. You're charging me with something that honestly, like... Well, Natasha, even if you're saying that that bag isn't yours, there's still residue in the... Like that. Little shorties in the car, right? Yep. The one that I had on me was brand new. I just got that. That's what I got from Patty, to be honest with you. It was a brand new pipe because she didn't have any dope to get me high, and my next stop was that. Well, after Cameron was arrested, she was charged with possession of meth, possession of drug paraphernalia, and bail jumping. Interestingly enough, there was no mention of the credit cards. Back on April 15th of 2023, police were called in Daytona Beach, Florida because there was a drunk Karen staying at an Airbnb making a huge ruckus. Karen was upset because earlier she and her friends had been out at the bar and she got so drunk that her friends left her there and to add insult to injury, they left in Karen's car. As a result, Karen had to walk home, but what really set her off is when her friends showed up in her vehicle, and this is what happened next. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. Yeah, you're the girl. <laughs> How's it going? Can come and talk to Deputy Santangelo with Flagler County Sheriff's Office. Y'all had a fight? Where y'all had a fight? No. She swung on me because I was trying to get her in the car because she's drunk off her ass. That happened in Daytona? Yeah. And I was just trying to get her back in the car to take her home to go to sleep. That's all I was trying to do for you is take care of you. All I've tried to do is take care of you. I don't even know. I know, and I'm telling you, though, but I'm, I don't, but I'm telling you that I was trying that I don't to take care know. of you. And, like, if your, I was hey, just hey, trying hey, to... Hey, 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 your first name is... What's your name? Deputy Doggett. What's your first name? Dog Doggett? Yes. Dog your... what Doggett? My name's Deputy Doggett. What's your first name? Emily. What's your first name? I'm not telling you my first name. 
Why do I have to what? do my profession if you're not going to tell me your profession? Because I, I go by profession. I, that's how I introduce myself. Why can't I be by profession? profession? Right. Are you staying in a different place or are you staying here? No, we're all here. We literally live in Oklahoma. So here's what I highly recommend you do. Probably get some sleep. And Great. sleep off some of the booze. That's beautiful. Y'all want to report whatever happened in Daytona? Y'all are more than welcome to do so at any point in time. Nothing mm -hmm. happened here, right? No. By the county now? Uh, so What's your name? Deputy Santangelo. Dan Santangelo? Santangelo. Santangelo? What's your first name? Deputy. So that's a really cute first name. Thank you. Yeah, Deputy Santangelo. First name Santangelo. Well, he's talking to her right now, so. I want my car. Okay. I want my personal Let him belongings talk to her. in my car. No, 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 no. I want my personal belongings in my car. And if you can't give me my personal belongings in my car, I want you to read me a, a law that tells me why you're not going to give me my personal belongings that are in my car right now. Okay, I'm going to find my car. I'm going to get my personal belongings. Right, you need to oh, you're going to hold me back. Are you going to tell me why you're not going to give me my personal belongings in my car? We just got here. In my personal property? You, you just got here? You didn't get here like 10 minutes ago? Nah. That car don't got a little camera on it that shows you got here like 10 minutes ago? I want my, my phone. Where's your phone at? In my car that she drove here, who somebody is driving, yeah, driving okay. right? I'll get your phone real quick. And I want you to draw, like check if they're going to drive my car that I didn't give them. And I want to make a report on that. Your car is here. You'd have to do that in Daytona. Because I will. I will. What's your name? Deputy Doggett. I told you Deputy that. Doggett. What's your first name, Doggett? Young lady. Young lady. What's your first name, Doggett? I'm going to ask you very nicely, please. Very nice. Sit down over there. Doggett, what's your name? You want to go get my phone? I'm trying to do you a favor, but if you keep talking what's, to me like what's this, the I'm favor? not doing anything for you. What's the favor? What's the law that I'm breaking? Trying, what's the problem? Why would you say anything? You want to go me? get my personal belongings? Or you want That's to what I'm trying to do, but you're going to keep interrupting me and talking over me. I'm not going to do anything for you. So please, go sit down while I go get your belongings so we can get you guys separated for a little bit. Are you willing to do that for me? Yeah. Are you going to keep sitting here You can go get my phone? Out of I'm my car? I'm going to go get your Out of my car. Me. Yeah, doggy. Okay. Deputy, 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 deputy. Look at my leg. Yeah, I see you're pretty messed up. You got scratches on your back, too. Yeah. They're going to suck my dick when I get done with this shit. Um, this what happened? Deputy. I couldn't tell you because I'm too up to remember but like look at me look at me i look like some normal ass person look at my shorts you know what that look normal to you no that doesn't look that look like some normal ass person that you no it was given to me where's my cellular device i did not look through your purse okay that car is my car okay. get them out of my car get me my keys and yes. get me my phone right now that car Emily Faith Jones. That's the name on Emily. that f***ing car. Emily. Okay, Mr. Whatever the f***. Watch me. Watch, watch my f***ing car. No, 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 no. You don't, don't do that. Ma'am. You're not going to walk over there and do that. Stop. Stop. Why are you grabbing my That's my car. You need to stop and go sit why down you before you get put in handcuffs. For what? For what? Put You're going to put me in a handcuff for handcuff. what? Put me in handcuffs. handcuffs for what? You were literally making a scene. Calm that down. That is my Calm car. Calm down. They're in my... Calm down. You're putting me in handcuffs Stop. for what? That Stop. is my car. I told you not to go over there. Now you're acting out like a child. Sit He's down. He's doing that He's doing on. that I got a camera on you? You got I'm a sure camera gonna, on you? Go you got gonna, a camera on you? Calm down. She's gonna be fine. You got a camera on you? Yes, young lady. Shut the f*** up, Aubrey. Get the f*** out of my way. Well, this help you. What the f*** are you talking about? Why are you grabbing my f***ing car? What the f*** are you talking about? What are you helping me with? We're trying to take care of it so you don't get more trouble. What are you helping me with? Have a seat. I told you that's my car. I know. 
Have a seat. I wanted to go to my car. Have a seat. With my phone. Emily, you're acting out, causing a scene. I'm, I'm acting out. That's my car. I had to get brought here by phone. Y'all just had a physical fun. disturbance. There's clear injuries on God your person. Damn it. Sit down. Oh, get the f away no. from me. No, sit down. Dude, get the f away from me. I'm not trying to be disrespectful to you. Get the f away no. from me. No. Please get the you f away from me. You try and bring it Obviously, down. my hands are cuffed. I can't do then, you. My, my shorts are down. cuffed. No, get the f away from me. I'm asking you to get the f away from me. I'll take a step back, but oh you need to try and calm God. yourself. Oh, my God. I wanted my phone. I wanted my phone. Cell phone. I wanted to be able to talk to people. I wanted to. And I was be trying able to do all that for you, people. but then you started charging up. I with wanted it. my car. That's my car. That in my name. I pay for that. Shit. Everything about that car, I pay for that. Nobody you're else. Not, how about this? I'm gonna tell you this one time. Until you calm down, you're not getting out of handcuffs. Oh my god, dude! I don't care to go do. Shit. I want my phone. Take this off of me. No. I'll sit on this. Bitch, you want me to fucking sit write down right shit? now? Right now, okay. It's look, I right want now. my phone, ma'am. Just ma'am, I'm down. not a ma'am, I'm a little girl. Suck my dick right now. God damn it, you Good lady, you gotta try and calm down. That's no, why you're in the That's my car. No, you really just got into a fight, beat the crap out of each other, you start charging over the car. That's why you're in handcuffs. What are you why don't you use about? some common sense what did you just say? and stop what did, acting no, out? No, 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 Mr. Whatever you say. Okay, what did you just I'm say? I'm done talking to you. I, I asked for my phone. Them bitches right there just did something I don't even know of. Look at my knees. Look at my knees. I'm not going to keep yelling. Oh, you don't want to yell at me? I want my phone. Where's your phone? I don't know where the phone my phone is. That's my yeah. car. They drove here. here. Look at me. Look at me. I'm not yelling at you. Look don't at me. At me. I don't want to yell at you. Look You're at me. At me. I'm trying to talk to you. I'm upset. I'm not trying to yell at you. Don't no, take this personally. Okay. I'm upset, okay? I want my fuck you. not so, personally. Listen. My name is Emily. Okay. I'm not trying to make this personal. I'm about to lose my fucking mind. I want my phone. Okay. I want to be able to talk to somebody. I got put in handcuffs because I, I walked over to my phone. Or I my told car? You to stop and you kept pushing past us, and you started Can pushing away from me. Can you just let me, me talk and express myself? You've been doing a second. lot of that the whole time. I'll, I'll, I'll let you do that as long as you just bring it, bring it down <gasps> just a couple. Oh, my f***ing Emily. 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 Yo, no, 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 yeah, okay. explain it to me bring right it down, now. Bring it down a couple knots. Yeah. Talk to me like yeah. I'm talking to you. Yeah. No, okay. that's not going to happen. And if you want some shit on that, get this shit off of my fucking cuss before you keep treating me like I'm an animal. I wanted my phone. That's my car. Where's, do we know where your phone's at? I don't know. I wanted my car. I wanted to go look at my car. And I don't know. Those people, I could not give a Less about, and I don't care what you got going on. I know you're a police officer. I know there's like some serious shit going on, Thanks. but like take this off of me. It's it's an iPhone 13. It's white. It has a clear case on it. There's a there's like a little picture of it of a Chilean man with they a don't, boyfriend. No, they don't, it's the other Kia. Not the other phone no, it's at the club somewhere. Oh, it's at the it's at the club. Know where your phone is. Swear to God, get we don't this know where shit off me. you. We have been trying to find you to get to locate you, bro. We were literally like mm -hmm. on the verge of upsetness because you were fucking running around doing some. Shit. Yeah, and you want to fucking over there nod your head when all I did was try to fucking be there for you. I've known you for fucking 17 years, and you want to say that you don't give a fuck about me, you don't give a fuck about them. That's fucking fucking right there in that fucking window. So why don't you get your ass in there and go to fucking sleep? Oh, yeah. Get oh, your to sleep. Sure, it'll work. Yeah. Okay, hold up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just, hey, I'm locked up. Right. Because yeah, I wouldn't go to my crazy. car. Yeah, because I'm you're crazy. acting crazy. No. Yeah. Suck my d Okay. Those are two Bye. 20, two Bye. 24. You're the one in handcuffs, not me. You know why we kept you over here? No. We didn't want you to go get in a fight. 
I didn't want to get a I wanted my stuff. I just wanted my. I just wanted my. I want to be able to talk to people. I can't talk to people. Yeah, but the the people that had your car, you were upset with them. We didn't want you getting yourself into more trouble. I don't. Why did they have my car if I was upset with them? Why did they take my shit if I didn't even have my own? Shit? You don't think that's there's something wrong with that? There's something wrong with that. Yeah, there is something wrong with that. Take this shit off my wrist. I won't move from this place. If I move from this place, fucking take me where the fuck you want me. But please, just take this off my wrist so I can just like sit comfortably. Going to my father's house. Where's dad at? Carryville. Carryville? Mm. Where's that? It's like two hours from here. I'll wait, but I'm not staying here. Oh, yeah, I can take me. You have know. someone who can take you there? Or like an Uber or something? <coughs> I'll wait. What's your name again? Dog it. Oh, Jonathan? Dog it. Dog it. Dog it. There's a guy named Jonathan. He said he was with you at Kyle Ugly. He said he's got your phone. Well, I have some good news and I have some bad news for Karen. The good news is someone found her phone the officer actually called her phone number and a guy had it and he picked up so the officer gave karen his information so she could get her phone the bad news is that even though the officers were allowing karen to get off scot-free with just a warning karen is a karen so she returned to the airbnb started banging on the door and got arrested by the very same officers after her arrest, Karen was charged with disorderly intoxication. The perfect charge for her. Back on April 29th of 2022, 911 dispatch received several calls from people reporting a speeding gold SUV in the county of Vernon near Westby, Wisconsin. Ten minutes later, the Coon Valley Police Chief clocked that gold SUV traveling at 106 miles per hour in a 30 mile per hour zone of course he took off in pursuit and that's where we pick up 146 call across he came into town 106 miles an hour and i'm uh we spawn at county p never mind he pulled over 900 block 900 block central Turn the car off and step out right now. Please. Turn the car off and step out. Why? Why? Step out of the car. Who are you? you step out of the car. 146. Step out of the car right now. Get out of the car. <clears throat> what? Do you have a fob or what? I don't know. <clears throat> I'm trying to comply. You're trying to what? I'm trying to comply with you. What, your to compliance is going to be getting out of the car. I'm not going to get out of this car. Okay, you are under arrest. For what? For reckless endangerment. For what? That's a felony crime. Who am I endangering? Come out of the car. Who am I endangering? Who am I endangering? Please explain that to me. Step out of the car. Please explain to me who I'm endangering. Step out of the car. Please explain to me who I'm endangering. You're taking me to jail right now? Yes, ma'am. Coon Valley? Yes, ma'am. Sir, do you have an identification with you? Because he doesn't. I'm sorry, I didn't catch what you said. Catch what I you just said. told you his name. What's his name? Anthony Lucas, and he does not have an engagement. And okay. you're not going to arrest him. Who am I in danger? Where are you coming from today? What? My house? Trying to get to school. 146, Vernon. 146, go ahead, sir. Driver's last name is McKaig. I'm C K A I G. I'm Mary C Charles K King A Adam I I G George. First Amanda. Can you give me a ticket so I can get to school, please? You're, I really don't have time for this. Sorry. That was mature, wasn't it? I'm sick of white men. I'm sick of officers. I don't have time. For school I'm trying to go to work I'm not going to your jail I just want the ticket please please you're done when you get out of the car and hand me your keys we can move forward I don't have keys 
You have a fob. I don't. You have something that operates this vehicle. Yeah, I do. You're right. Because okay. I don't have it on when me. When you get out of the vehicle, we can move I forward. I don't have it on me. When you get out of the vehicle, we can move forward. I'm not getting out of this vehicle. I'm going to stand here until you do. God. 146, 1033, 1033. Do you want like your help? Yes, officer? You don't. Do you copy? You did not. Did you get off me? Please. 146, Get on the ground. I'm with you. I'm not getting off Get on the ground. Yeah, um, unlock my or unlock my doors from the driver door. Go to the passenger side. I have a pair of handcuffs down in the on my belt on the floor. I'm not fighting you. I'm not fighting you. Put your hands behind your back. Thank you, sir. Can you get my radio out of the street there so it doesn't get run over? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Put your other arm behind your back. Put your other arm behind your back. Here. I'll take that other side. Thank you. Are you doing it? You feel better now, puppy? Officer? Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Excuse me! Does that make you feel better having me cough? Just stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. 146, you can uh, slow down back up for 1095. 181 and 22 copy. Uh, are the smartest people. Officer. 181 here. Hey, officer. Whatever your name is. You know, raccoons are the smartest people. It's fitting I'm getting invested in Coon Valley. All I asked was the ticket. I'll need 20 or I won't need 181. Hope you die. Does that go on my arm? Um, more Go ahead, search me. Go ahead. Look at that. Oh, we're doing everything to the tea. Anthony! Call twin! You'll be that kill load. You hear me? You have an identification with you, sir? Car. It says cool. Grand Coons are the smartest people. What's going on today? Are you her brother? I know, yeah. Is she upset about something? Mental health thing. You, you or her, or both of you? Uh, her mainly. Okay. She's recognizing that she needs some mental help. Yes. Okay. She said she was going to go Saturday. She's been off her meds for two months. Yeah. Okay, I appreciate that. I'll give this back to you. I just have your driver's license, okay? I'll keep my hands visible. Yep, I believe that. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. And are there any weapons in the car? Uh, yes. What's what's the weapon? A Bowie knife and a duffel bag. Appreciate that.
What are you arresting me with all the things? Reckless endangerment. Okay. Can you take it? Take it the way you guys do. 106 miles an hour. She, uh... I thought they were going to leave. She was passing cars left and right in Westby. Can I get the ticket and go now? Or how do I get out of here? Officer. Officer. I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you to do your job. How do I get out? Can you give me the ticket so I can leave? Please? Sorry, you're holding me up. I'm trying to get to school. And you're arresting me for no reason. Are you diagnosed with any mental health disorder? I don't know. Are you supposed to be taking any medications? I don't know. She came in at 106 miles an hour. She's going to school. Huh? She's going to school. She's late? Yeah, apparently. Can you see? Apparently. Um, when I got her out of the car, he... Uh, decided to tell me that she was going to go get some mental health help. Oh. Um, she's been off her meds for two, two months. So, I managed to, she was going to take off on me again when I was standing in the open door. Oh, for real? She turned, turned the car back on and put it in gear. She wouldn't give me the key fob. So, I got on her lap and <laughs> took over the car and out she came. Uh, Whatever works. She's in the back? She's arrested in the back. Who are you in charge of with? What's that? Who are you in charge of with? Reckless endangerment. It's a felony, right? Yeah. yeah. Off to jail, she's Can going. This guy drive? He can't drive. He's got an instruction only. So, if you could figure out if he's got somebody that can <clears throat> come pick him up or something from... Is she under the influence or anything? Anthony? I don't know. Her right eye is... Yeah, Anthony. Yep. Her right eye is all messed up. But, uh, bloodshot and everything. But she isn't talking like she's... Clearly drunk or anything like that, or? Did you talk to the reporter yet? The no. Reporter yet? No, I just, uh, I didn't have my, my duty belt on, so I think this guy got in my squad and got me my handcuffs, because I had her on the ground in the, in the street. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was just going to reach over, I was like, what if I have to arrest this? <laughs> so I was just going to reach over to my duty belt, and she came in at 106. The radar was just Holy screaming. Well, why was she going so fast? She's going to school. <laughs> Don't you always drive that fast on the way to school? <laughs> she wanted her ticket and let me go. Um, no, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to try to my shit. Um, when I arrest somebody, I check whatever is on their person. That's good. I'll be doing everything by law. Like what you see? My knee hurts now. Thanks. You ready to let me go yet? Are you ready to let me go to school? I'm going to give you your identification back. You doing all right? Yeah. Were you a little bit scared when she was driving, or? Not really. Did she drive like this often? No. Did it seem dangerous to you, what she was doing out there? I don't know. I don't drive. Okay. You got your instruction permit, right? Yeah. Well, so you've been through driver safety and, I mean, took some driver's education? Yeah. Would you drive like that? No, I don't know. Probably Okay. Not. All right. That's good. Good. Was she actually... She So she wasn't going to school then? Well, she was. Okay. And you were just going to... Yeah, just gonna go with her. Go with her to class or yeah. hang on. Okay. I was trying to talk to him about if he felt it. I was trying to ask him if he thought it was a little scary driving with her or whatever. And I don't know. I don't drive. <laughs> okay. You want to see if she'll cooperate with you for a pretty decent search? I, I didn't. I mean, I just checked her pocket and. What's her name? Um, Amanda. Any more ticket yet? Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Very horrible. So where were you coming from? Your home? My house? Okay. I told him that. Okay. Why are you so upset? Because he f***ed me! Okay. Do you have anything in your pockets that's... No, you already went through my pockets! Okay. You want to your... Sweatshirt? Yeah. Okay. Do you have any pants pockets or... No, I don't! Okay. And then who is that to you? That's is my family? Whole, his family. Okay. Like blood related or... No. I raised him. Okay. Where does he live? With me. Does he drive? He's got a permit. You want to drive him home? He can no, stay here and wait for you to let me go. He can, he's fine to stay by himself then. Well, if he's 23, he should okay. be. I'm just wondering. I mean, like, what do you think? Okay. I probably doesn't feel safe here. You just arrested him. Okay.
She said that he's good to be on his own, so. Well, I'm going to tow the vehicle. Yeah, I would tow it too. And she's not very cooperative. We're probably going to need some help. Okay. So I um, didn't search her. She's got no pants on her pot on her, her pockets on her pants, so. Right. Okay. All right. Um, can I borrow your, your cuff key right there? You, you. See if we can lock this. <coughs> so that your cuffs don't tighten up on you on the way down, I'd like you to, uh, you to step out of the, to the jail. Which one? Vernon County. Vernon County? Yeah. Why? Uh, because you're under arrest for a felony offense. So can you take it? You want to go? You're taking um, the jail. I, I explain that. So, to jail. but I, explain it very well. um, I need to, understand. I need to keep those handcuffs from sque from squeezing down on your wrist. So I would like to check them for fit and lock them. Okay? Did you do it right the first time? I did it right. I just well, didn't get them. Just I just didn't get them. Got. I didn't get them double I locked. So you did. <clears throat> I don't um, know where that. It's constricting. Okay. Well, it's the law, and it's going to happen in my squad car. Okay, officer. This is your choice. You got a fill? Yep. How do I get out of your jail? Um, that'll be up to the judge. What judge? Darcy Rude. <laughs> or her commissioner. Okay, let me talk to Anthony quick before you leave. Um, no. Yeah, let me talk Put to your my foot in. Your, um, little brother? Put your foot in. Yeah, let me talk to my little brother. Um, no. Why? He's 23 years old and he can take care of himself. He should be able to. Go ahead and put but your foot in. But he's probably really scared in this Coon Valley town. He told me last time he was. Why would he be scared? Because it's Coon Valley and he's a black guy. Um, I, I don't think he's... I think he's, I'd think i be scared. You just arrested me in front of him. Um, go ahead and put your feet back no. in the car. Let me talk to him. <clears throat> You're leaving him here by himself. Actually, I'm not. I'm calling a tow truck so he can go with the tow or not. Why don't you just let me talk to him? Um, can you get a Why are you towing my car? Why are you towing my car? There's no reason to tow my car. He can turn it on right now and drive it. He can't drive. Yes, he can. No. Yeah, he can. Not legally. Put your foot in the car. Let me talk to him. <clears throat> Let me talk to him. Let me. I got it. God. Why are you in my car? You want to just tell me where the drugs are in the car since the dog told us that they're in there? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Okay. Would you mind just turning your pockets inside out for me just to demonstrate to me that you don't have any drugs on you right now? Oh, no, there's the fob. Okay. There's two fobs? Okay. Yeah, I don't have anything on me. I don't do anything. Okay. You don't use any drugs? No. Does Amanda use any drugs? Uh... Sometimes? A covering addict. Okay. What's your drug of choice? Heroin, meth, or something else? Uh, cocaine. Cocaine? Okay. Okay. Appreciate that. Yeah, not mine. What's that? If you do find anything, it is not mine. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Amanda, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to have an attorney present with you with prior to any questioning if you wish. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney, you have the right to have the court appoint you on free of charge prior to any questioning if you wish. If you want to answer any questions for me at this time, you may stop answering at any time. Do you understand those rights? Yes. You want to tell us where the drugs are in the car? There's no drugs. Okay. Nice try, though. Were there any in the past at all? I have no idea. Because the dog sure, certainly says that there are. If the dog says there's drugs, then I'll go ahead and try to find them. I have nothing. I have no. There's no drugs that I know of in that car. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. The car's already been searched by State Patrol. When? Um, about a week ago. Okay. I got it back from Blystones. They had it impounded illegally. Okay. So... To my knowledge, there's no drugs in that car. The only thing that's drugs in that car is prescribed drugs to me. Okay. Um, have you been taking your medication? What? Have you been taking your medication? I've been taking what's prescribed. Okay. Why, why are you driving 106 to get to school? I woke up late. You're late? I woke up late. Okay. Did it seem at all dangerous to you? The no. speed you were traveling? Passing cars left and right in West Beach? No, I was being safe. I think she might cooperate if you want to adjust her cuffs now. No, 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 put your arm back. It hurts! I know, I'm Ouch! adjusting it. I'm, I'm adjusting it. Off. Put your right hand back behind your back so that it won't hold on the handcuff Why for your left hand. Why do I need hand. to be cuffed? Don't because I'm in the back of your f***ing car. Complying with everything you're saying. The yellow will slide. Do you have your two fingers? Oh, it hurts. Oh, United Methodist. Okay, don't. God, it f***ing hurts. Don't, don't, don't pull them apart. Well, I can't help it. It f***ing hurts. Please take them off. Here, I'll move your sweatshirt down so they're not rubbing on your skin. 
Well, they're not hurting on my skin, so I wish they hurt. There, I loosen them as much as we can. No, you can't. You can raise them as much as you want. Look at how tight this is. Look at this. Here, let me look at this. Look at how tight it is. God. You okay. get the two fingers you're supposed yep. to. Yep. I can get both fingers in. So. Yep. You Perfectly. Can? Yep. Okay, fine. Yeah. I loosen them. You gotta move your uh, butt to your right. You wanna go behind your head? Amanda, has somebody been in your car that uses narcotics? What? Has somebody been in your car, that, somebody that uses narcotics? Yeah. Yes? I'm sorry, who would that have been? Mm -hmm. Mississippi and Jess. Mississippi and Jess. Mm -hmm. Who's Mississippi? It's the only name I know him by. Okay. Hi there. <clears throat> I need some medical attention. These nice officers threw me to the ground. Hi. She's claiming that she needs some medical attention after resisting arrest and having to be decentralized. Yeah, resist arrest. She's full of shit. She's going to pay with her insurance. Yeah. You know I'm trying to be a teacher, right? So those two charges are going to f*** my career. I'm sorry you chose to do what you did this morning. I'm sorry. You're sorry I listened to my God? After all this, Karen was charged with felony second degree reckless endangering safety and misdemeanor resisting failing to stop as well as misdemeanor resisting obstructing the officer. On top of that, Karen was hit with over $700 worth in fines. However, she pled no contest to the misdemeanors and the felony was dropped. Lucky for her. But I can say one more thing for certain, Karen definitely did not make it to her class that day. Back on May 14th of 2023, the police had to be called because a drunk Karen decided to get behind the wheel and back her car into a parked vehicle. This is what happened next. This is Christina. She's the owner of this black truck and she bumps you back into this. Mm -hmm. I'm out. <laughs> I'm fine. I just didn't see okay. this car that's in the center of Whose car is this? It's one of my employees. She's coming out. She's coming out. Hey, what I'm going to need is your driver's license, your registration, and proof of insurance, okay? I don't have any of that. I just have my driver's license. You don't have registration or insurance? No, it's not my car. Well, it's, it's still your responsibility to provide registration and insurance. Understand. Are you able to obtain that? It is Can you my get the registered exes. owner to... It's my exes. That's all I can tell you. It is my exes. Do you have permission to have it? Yes. I have permission okay. to have it, but I don't have any information on it. Who's in the car with you? Um... A date I was with. He's a date. Too drunk. Hey man, you got ID on you? No, I don't. You don't have any ID? I do, but I'm not giving it because I wasn't driving. But I still have to list you as a passenger in the vehicle. He's drunk. You're not in any trouble. I, I know. I, mean, I just got to list you as a passenger. He is. Okay. I really don't have to get my ID. I, I, yes, sir, you do. Yes, sir, you do. No, since so, when? No, By law, you do not have to get someone else. When you've been involved in a crash and you're a passenger in a vehicle, you have a to be identified. It doesn't even show. It doesn't you, even you show. You have to be identified in the report, guys. That's how it is. That's the law. I don't believe that. <clears throat> I know my laws. I have a PI as a best friend, a private investigator who knows okay. all the laws. Okay. And y'all's, too. You do not have to get a passenger's ID. Yes, you, yes, you do. You don't. Unless he is wanted. What? Unless he is someone you are wanting. Who are you wanting? He's not wanted for anything. I just have to identify what do you him. What him for? I, I explained that to you. He was in the car. My bad, dude. I've never, he was I've in the never, car. I've never actually heard that people have to. When the collision occurred, so he has to be listed as a passenger for any potential injuries that may happen later on. Honey, any claims? I've been in the okay. industry for two damn well, long. Ma'am, I've done this for 22 years. Officers, military, all of it. I know the laws. I know my laws, too. Okay. Can I, I just need your name, your date of birth, and a phone number so I can put you in the report. I'm just shocked. Go ahead. Give him his your info. No, no, no. Prove it to him. At this point, I'm pissed. Prove him who you are because I know they do not have to take that information legally. I, I was the driver. I'm the yes, responsible sir, one. To list you in the in the report. I'm That's the it. responsible one. Because you're a passenger one. in the vehicle. I'm the responsible one. 
you, I mean, you're not in any trouble for nothing. You're just, no, you're, right. you're just a but passenger. I also know I'm my not, rights. I don't understand we why. Civilians know our rights, honey. I, I'm not. I'm not sure. We know our rights. What it is that you no, have an you issue with? No, you don't know with. what it is. Y'all like to abuse your authority for no goddamn reason. I appreciate it, though. I really do. Uh, I appreciate your little okay. energy. I appreciate it, man. The last person. Hey, good man. Who's your ID? I'm a, I'm a federal, uh, former federal inmate. Okay. This is no adverse effect. Yeah, it, I'm, I'm being contacted by my federal probation officer. But there's no adverse effect. I just got it's out of not, prison. I understand that, but yeah. but this doesn't so violate it. So why am I going to be contacted by him for a situation I wasn't? I'm not going to tell him. You know, he's going to get yeah, he's going to get notified. He's going to contact me. Mm -hmm. He's going, hey, why were you f ran? So we're now me ran. as a, an, a an, an, an individual who was not. Do you have his name and number, and I'll call him no, and say no, you. No, he, he's, you. He's 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 got a life too. No, you. you know? But someone you know like I mean? that can help you. you know what I mean, but okay, no, but I don't need, I'm please so don't sorry. put your hand in my face. Yeah, I don't sorry. need your help. Okay. So I want to know why my name was No, ran. what I'm saying is a cop can't uh, help your name. No, no, Can we put everybody? They will, they will not help We put you. everybody. No, at, look, I gave him my ID because I just want to go home. Okay, you go. I didn't want You're good to, to go, get, dude. Yeah. I just had to get your information put in the crash report. Are we All good right. to go? You're not. He's good to go. You got to stay while I complete the crash because I get to give you a copy of it. And okay. then can we get an Uber and come back later from my truck? When I'm done. You good? Ma'am? You good? Yeah. Where okay. are we? What? Hi guys, I'm gonna just oh, left it open. Okay, so yeah, we're still in the same place. He's finishing his paperwork. Yeah, uh, it's up to you if you want to show it down, so you don't have to keep going out, in and out. Huh? Yep. I was just waiting. I'm not trying to drive drunk out of here. I do want you to know that. I'm trying to drive out of here to get him. Well, you don't need to be driving at all. I know. What are they doing with him? Huh? What are they doing with him? With who? The guy you were with? He's already gone. Oh, yeah. He walked off 15 minutes, 20 minutes ago. Yeah, once once he gave him back his driver's license and told him he was good, good. he could do whatever he wanted as far as leaving. He walked off, I think. And I'm the sober one. How do they let me? He's not sober. I can't believe you don't let him leave. We didn't let him drive. I guess so. This is the exchange information we'll give it to scene that's not the completed report. Stuff to do a, a narrative. Okay. That's for you. Thank you. This is a okay. citation for improper backing. Thank you. And this is one for so no proof of insurance. You gotta have proof of insurance. You got any questions for me now? Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm done. I'm done with my I actually give you a hug. Okay. Genuinely wanna give I'm you I'm done with the crash for... investigation. Now Thank I'm gonna move I'm just... gonna move towards a DUI investigation. I believe you're impaired. And shouldn't be operating a vehicle. Um, All right, I'm going to ask for I you to. Do do I'm going to ask you to consent to drive. field sobriety exercises. I will not, I will not You're not drive. going to do exercises. I'm not, not going to drive. We're driving at the time of the crash. Okay, then I will refuse it, okay. and I will get a driver to get me. I'm begging you. I I can. So you're understand. refusing to do field sobriety exercises. I don't know what I'm doing. So this is your opportunity to dispel. Any concern, fear that you've had too much to drink? I'm not driving. Okay. I'm asking you one more time. If it makes me To submit to field sobriety exercises. You'll do that? I will I will actually refuse them. Okay, you're I'm refusing. not driving. Okay. All right. I'm let's, sorry. Go ahead, let's go ahead and step out of the car there. for me, okay? Put that down. You see your, uh, Are you, you really know? arresting me? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to take your... Right, pen and your keys. I'm gonna sit them in the seat right now, okay? Oh, if it doesn't get me arrested, I'll take it. Well, I've offered you that opportunity. Okay? No, will, will it arrest me if I don't? 
If I take that, please, will it arrest me? Well, it depends on how you do on your uh, exercise. Please, 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 I'm banging you. I'm banging you. It was him. I should have got arrested. Why should it have been him? Huh? I'm not the drunk one. I believe you're intoxicated. I believe you're too impaired to no, operate a motor vehicle. No, you can, you can test me. Okay, so... You, well, that'd be my next question. If you would submit, I'm you. I'm if you would submit to a breast sample, breast sample is not fair. I'm little. It's not fair. Would you submit to a breast sample? No, because I'm okay. little. All right. Well, let's go have a seat in the back of my car real quick, Please, okay? Please, I'm begging you. Please. All right, ma'am. Have a seat. Please, I'm begging you. Whatever it takes. Have a seat in there. <laughs> step out for me. I'm going to ruin you. Okay, no, go ahead and step out for me. As a police officer, I hope you know that. Okay. I need to go ahead and step out for me, okay? It's gone. Okay. I know you. Okay. I know you very well. Go ahead and step out for me. I need phone numbers out of my goddamn phone. It's in your purse, they'll be able to. And I will f your whole entire. They'll let you get them out when you get in there, okay? No, I'm done with you. I hope you know. Okay, get out of the car. You're a car officer that helped me. Okay, get out of the car. Be a part of it, but you. Get out of the car. You. I feel sorry for you. I really do. I appreciate that. Thank Goodbye you. Bye to your career. Okay. You do not know who the I am, and you will find out very quickly. Like very quickly. Okay. Let go of me. I want my phone numbers in my attorneys, okay. it's, and I am done. It's up. Ultimately, Karen didn't ruin anyone. She didn't end anyone's career. She didn't send anyone to jail. She didn't get any money from anyone. What she did do is she pled no contest to DUI with property damage, and that's the end of the story.